Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Lionel, and I'm your host for LT Productions, and you are watching I Watch You Watch. Uh, we are covering one of my favorite shows, Hush, uh, that's currently streaming on the All Black uh, Streaming Network every Thursday. I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. As you can see, I got on my ugly sweater <laughs> that I won first place for today in the office. Um, I'll give you a better look at it. Real thick. <laughs> and also it lights up. <laughs> look at that. All right, so I normally don't do this. This year I've been really festive. And for the last few contests, I have won. I get competitive. And I got to win. So I do what I got to do to get it done. So. Anyways, you could go on and uh, like this video and also share it. You can also subscribe to my channel and make your comments below. We're going to get into it. It was a little bit of a longer episode and a lot of them got down and dirty. <laughs> All right. So we begin where we left off on last week's episode. Andrea has announced her presence at a Selena's masquerade party, sex party. And of course, everybody's still in this. How did you get out? Blah, 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 blah. Andrea basically says, I'm back and da 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 da. Don't worry about all that. So Jordan ends up arriving and what? <laughs> Another person is just so shocked that Drea got out. Anyways, Drea announces that uh, Link came to visit her. And basically they said, What did you tell him? Blah, 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 blah. She said, I didn't tell him nothing. And on their end, she wanted to know, Have you been good? Have you been um, uh, just. Uh, keeping your word to stay quiet and all of them reassured. No, <laughs> we're not telling anybody anything. So Drea says, you know, I'm going to take care of everything because they're like, well, somebody has to be pinned for the murder of LeVar. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the next scene is with Drea and her, I don't want to say manager, but publicist, what a publicist I'll say, um, Crystal. And she arrives over there. She's trying to, relate to the black culture as you see so many non-blacks try to do and they try to say our slang catchphrases trying to sing our songs trying to relate to us and it falls flat she tried to do that and Dre says i already told you about that please don't do that um she announces that there are some big things with different uh, networks that really want to do business with her and she's happy about that um next uh, keith is picking up his daughters from school and one of the other parents comes by. Um, oh, oh, wait, not there yet. No, um, the company that Keith did work for, uh, I guess this was the CEO. He was talking on the phone with someone about he let Keith take the fall. And now since Keith is out, someone else is in there. And his name is Vincent. Um, Vincent, um, I guess, just took the place of Keith. When Keith was able to get out, I don't know. Anyways, this woman is overhearing it. I'm just uh, assuming it was a wife or a girlfriend, possibly a daughter. Um, but obviously, she's going to shake some ish up when she gets when she actually distributes the knowledge. All right, so Drea and her therapist. Um, I somewhat don't like Drea's therapy sessions because it's like are you really holding this girl accountable but her therapist i forgot her name is also her friend so she's in there basically just saying i'm a changed woman everything's great da, 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 da. i'm seeing everything from a new perspective i'm getting back into the swing of things da, 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 da. and i think dre is just lying her to herself and the therapist just cheering her on and just hearing her and i'm like you cannot believe that i mean she did cancel you just a few weeks ago or whenever, um, when she found out that Maxwell is getting out of jail. So now everything is okay. Okay. <laughs> she did ask Andrea, what about her love life? And basically she's saying that it's going to be non-existent. And she also did say that she's done meddling in uh, other people's lives. <laughs> and by this episode, she would have lied. Even though she already lied right there. All right, so we move on to Jordan's sister. 
she was able to break free out of the uh, rope that she was entangled in and she tried to make way for her escape but Lincoln was at the door he pushed her back into the room that she was locked in and began beating her now I could have sworn he said sister so I believe Jordan and this other sister is supposed to be siblings to Lincoln I think but I could not remember I didn't know if Lincoln was Jordan's ex or not I can go back and, and revisit it but I could have sworn it was about this uh, familial relationship, but I'm not for sure. But that would mean that Mona would be um, trying to go after her too, but I don't know. Anyways, he catches her and then after he's done, he sends a, a text of a photo of her sister being beaten. And at this point, this makes Jordan crumble and very upset because she did not want this to happen. Next, uh, Drea goes and visits a mayor, Claire. And basically, Claire was like, I trusted you. Why did you release this, this footage? And she's basically selling her this story of let's spin this on your behalf because you are the um, surprised wife, spouse, that found out his wife had all this illicit stuff happening behind her back. You could spin it as you are getting a divorce, but you're still committed to the community. At this point, uh, you know that Q is supposed to be following Lloyd. So Lloyd has not stopped anything whatsoever. He meets up with another guy, and it looks like they got something heavy going on. I mean, they're out in public. It's so weird, this judge, like, he doesn't keep it private. That's the thing, like, a lot of a DL men don't, you know, <laughs> if we are, it's got to be somewhere out of town or something. Maybe they were out of town. I don't know where they were. But anyways, it's like, okay. <laughs> But after you just got caught up in the scandal and now you're out with this guy? That doesn't make sense. Um, um, Julio and Gina. Um, I didn't like this scene. Gina was doing a lot of stuff. I get it. Cheating on Julio with his brother. I get it. I think how he treats her is very abusive. I mean, he manhandles her sometimes, but it's a lot more emotionally. Uh, emotional abuse, mental abuse. So they're having sex. Gina's not really into it. But then all of a sudden he switches gears and is forcing her to do all this stuff and saying, basically, F her like, F him like um, she um, F his brother. It's like, ugh, that's just kind of low, sir. Like, it was a lot. Then when she wasn't doing it the way that he wanted it, then he was uh, pushing her out of the bed. It was really bad. And, and he's like, well, you... basically, Gina, again, is like, stop it. And Julio's like, you expect me to forgive you so easily about this thing that you did with my brother? I think, no, sir. But at the same time, you're too busy trying to act like you're over it. You, obviously, you need more help than you, than you um, can do on your own. But you're making her suffer in a way that is not deserving. So he gets up out of bed and goes sleeps into the other room. Oh, let's see. So, Keith, he is picking up his children from school, and this parent is basically flirting with her. Hi, hi, doing all this high pitched voice stuff, talking about play dates. Where is Jordan at? Because she was the leader of the PTA and all this stuff. And, oh, oh, but hopefully we can have this play date with you, right? You've seen her being lustful with him right there in front of the children. It's so crazy. Um, he comes back home. Jordan's there just in a different mental zone. Uh, he's like, well, where have you been? She said that she had to go to a doctor's appointment. And then he starts talking about this work that she does uh, because she goes missing all the time. And she goes someplace where it's confidential computer work. Definitely confidential <laughs> Oh, there's only a matter of time, Keith, before uh, um, Jordan, before Keith finds out about what you're actually doing. All right, so Gina is with her manager. I forget his name, but he's been there uh, since last season. Um, basically, he gets Gina out of her funk and reminds her who she is. Um, basically saying, you know, damn, Gina is just the start of everything that's going to be happening with her career. I see you in movies, Marvel movies, as Storm. 
No, Poppy. No, Poppy. <laughs> Not Storm. No. <laughs> Try something else. Try something else. Try something else. I can go down the route. I'm not even going to go there, but you all know where I could go. Let's not. Um, They turn on some music. She looks in the mirror and she finally feels good about herself. She's getting her Miss Seely on. Y'all going to watch that movie? Because I am. I'm going on Christmas Day. I'm here. She got on her I'm here stink swag look now. Um, but while they are dancing, there's an unknown caller calling. Who could that be? Alejandro, but we don't know that yet. Uh, anyways, we move on to Keith going visiting his attorney, Danielle. Um, Keith's thinking of the worst. He's like, I'm not settling. I'm not pleading guilty to anything because I'm innocent. And then Danielle basically has to calm him down to just say, hey, no, the prosecution is dropping all the charges. So, hey, that's so good. Um, she says that she's not clear on all of the details, but a witness was there to vouch uh, for you as being a friend. Uh, so later on, of course, he's celebrating. He has made dinner, and he is calling Jordan, and has called him multiple time, her multiple times, but she's at work. <laughs> work, 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 work. She blended in. Um, after a while of calling, Keith gets pissed off, and the dinner's over. Jordan eventually comes home. It's late at night. She really was surprised that Keith was up at the time. And at this point, Keith is grilling her. Like, what is going on? And she, he really feels like everything is BS And when it comes to her and what she has going on. Tell her the truth. He demands to know what's up, and she would not say. So at this point, I think Keith left the house or something. But we don't really know what happened. But basically, he's done with all this mess. All right, so Selena and Terrell, they are out at an art gallery and just enjoying themselves. And then all of a sudden, Paige, this is the lady that was uh, in episode one of this season, um, that you can tell that they have a history. So they show up, she shows up, they get, I guess you want to say reacquainted or whatever. And Terrell ends up inviting her to something. I thought it was just to have a threesome, but <laughs> I was working ahead. Basically, come we find out that um, they want um, a page to come to the masquerade party. All right, so we're having another masquerade sex party. Um, Gina is now talking with the guy that was eyeing her the other day. His name is Ayo, I think that's his name. Um, uh, finally, he's, okay, finally, he's, um, he basically just says, you know, you want to dance, da 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 da. She kind of gives him a private dance, if you want to call it that, but not really private. It was still in the open. And he says that, I know who you are. And she said, oh, really? Who? I know who you belong to. And Gina says, no one. I belong to no one. So eventually, Aio invites Gina to go into a private room so they can get it on. Um, Candace, Terrell, and Paige are kind of Candace and Paige start making out, and Terrell's sitting right there. He's liking the show. Um, at the same time, I've seen them kiss. She's, he's kind of rubbing on her, on Selena. But then there's another girl that's watching them. Eventually, Candace and Paige uh, make their way upstairs, and Terrell stays downstairs with the girl that's watching. Um, after Terrell is done with the other random girl, he goes upstairs and then wants to have sex with Selena. But Selena and Paige are asleep upstairs. He awakens Selena, and they start having sex. Paige wakes up, and Selena is touching her and caressing her, but Paige really isn't into that. Um, and she turns over to the side and lets them have sex. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but good luck. <laughs> um, Jordan finally finds out that Keith's case has been dismissed. And then she goes, oh, no, I'm really effing up my life right now. <laughs> um, I don't know what you're going to do, Jordan, but you're about to lose everything that you have set in this land. But we'll see what happens. And we find out Miss Dre Dre <laughs> still got that peeping eye. Of course, she's got to write this story, and she's just watching uh, human behavior. Of course, you're going to be manipulating. And I would not be surprised if this uh, EIO, it's some type of distraction to send into Gina's life. I'm just saying, but y'all can give me what you think. 
it was pretty, pretty hot and spicy tonight. So, but anyways, uh, I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Leave your comments below and please like this video. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel and share this video. And until the next one, peace.